John Carrington. We're here with the Gathering of Champions of the Monarch School. Have you seen the men are gathering for our first Gathering of Champions? We call them champions because they're men, they're fathers. They got a lot going on and we believe in fatherhood. We're pushing this agenda for fatherhood so we can strengthen our children, strengthen the school that they go to, and then always strengthen each other. So I just want to say welcome and I'm thankful for this opportunity. I just wanted to say thank you for all of you coming for this first Breakfast of Champions. I think it's ironic and pretty fitting that this is happening right before the Thanksgiving season as we kind of reflect and think about all the things that we're thankful for. One of the things we're thankful for, of course, are our students and our kids at Monarch and figuring out how we can organize as subgroups to make a difference. So we wanted the Gathering of Champions to be a way for dads to get involved, to network with other fathers and grandfathers and kind of build social support among dads and also provide a way for them to get involved in school and to have a group that's led by fathers that, you know, meets their needs and their interests and is, um, you know, kind of an alternative uh, way for dads to get involved. We've seen at Monarch and a lot of other city schools that you, the moms are the ones that you see volunteering and involved in the PTA and we know the dads are out there and that they want to be connected with their kids, so it's just a way for them to do that. In the spirit of um, the verdict of the Ferguson, you know, the Ferguson and Mike Brown case and some of the things that are going on within our community um, concerning our kids and to figure out ways when we start off in elementary school, how do we build a foundation and the building blocks of supporting our students and just teaching them to really navigate through a very, very just unwritten world. Sometimes we're tired of our students with us, but my goal and the goal of this uh, gathering of champions uh, today, I want to make sure that you understand that we believe in you. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's something that we're here to do. We have goals in Father School, and uh, as you see, a lot of money has been invested in the school by its appearance, and I think it's over a thousand students in the school. I don't know how many middle school dads we have here, but um, your children have been invested in. But I want to talk a minute about the greatest investment. I got a daughter here at Monarch Academy. She's in the second grade, and uh, this is the first gathering of the Champions of Monarch. Uh, it was an absolutely great event um, to see the fathers, the grandfathers, the uncles, uh, the men who stand up for their children here and believe in what Monarch stands for. Um, just to be able to gather a fellowship with one another, get to know one another, and uh, all of us be on the same positive agenda was a great thing. So I look forward to uh, many more events like this to come in the future. And by connecting them with other dads and males in the community and then bringing in resources, hopefully, you know, it'll be something that fulfills their needs and provides us a, a source of support for I think the first turnout of the gathering of the champion of the Monarch School was, was off the chain. I know kids don't say that no more. <laughs> but I think it was great. Uh, where we go from here, we are here to mentor. Uh, that ramps up now. We're here to mentor fathers. We're here to invest in fathers so they can go back and impart to their children. A lot of times we want to send people home empty and we try to hold them accountable to do something with nothing. These fathers are going to be empowered, imparted into, and invested into so they can go back and be safe for their children. That's what's nice. Take it to another level.